Welcome once again, it is Rhapsody Time, Reality Time. Today is October the 12th and our men of God would like to share a message entitled, A Calling to Glory and Virtue. Hallelujah. Our opening verse is from the book of 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3 and I read, According as His divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of Him that had called us to glory and virtue. Hallelujah. The verse above says God has called us to glory and virtue. That means we've been called to a life of honor, heavenly dignity and excellence. No matter what situation you find yourself in, your life is one of honor, dignity and excellence. Glory to God. The Amplified Classic says He called us by His own glory and excellence, virtue. There should be no mediocrity in your life because excellence is working in you and me. The Apostle Paul says in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 12 from the GNB, We encouraged you, we comforted you, and we kept urging you to live the kind of life that pleases God, who calls you to share in His own kingdom and glory. What a life He's given us. How could you live an ordinary life when you have a calling to glory and virtue? It does not matter how dark and gloomy things get in this world. Be unruffled because your journey in life is one direction only. Upward and forward. Hallelujah. We are not of this world. Our path is different. It's a path of glory and excellence, prosperity and success, peace and joy. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, wherever you are, can you raise your hand and take this confession right after me? My life is for the glory of God, and I experience His goodness and mercies today. My life is one of honor, excellence, praise, glory, and thanksgiving to the Lord at all times. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. My brothers and sisters, for you to understand today's message even better, I do recommend that you take time to study these following scriptures. From the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, preferably from the Amplified Classic. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, also preferably from the Amplified Classic. And finally, the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Don't forget to share this beautiful gospel to your world. See you again tomorrow. God bless you. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart into my spirit 
Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities. Give me your life for meaning every day. My life made perfect with Rhapsody.